What's poppin'? Welcome to episode eight of The Kane Show. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Would have been nine, but I left an episode unuploaded, whatever. I just started the episode off with some serious grammatical errors, but hopefully y'all don't mind. Um, I'm a bit frazzled as of lately uh, for good reasons. Hopefully good reasons. I'm sure there'll be good reasons. Uh, but yeah, um, I should probably be on the road right now, being that those reasons are I'm leaving Philadelphia. And I'm going to be driving down south. I'm going to, you know, see what I can get into in Florida for a little bit. Have some sober fun. Visit the Miami Fruit Farm. Hopefully make some music and some other things. And uh, then I'm going to head out west and through the south and go through, you know, Texas and all that. If you hear a sound like a saw or something outside I, I, I don't know I'm messing with the mic settings today so hopefully it doesn't sound too crazy I feel like I should really be using a stand to do this but y'all know me I'm I'm just throwing things together and seeing what happens and I'm grateful for the things that are happening uh if you're watching the video version of this podcast then you can see a bit of this setting and um I would move the camera, but I feel like the noise would be obnoxious. To my right, there's like a little foam mattress topper bed roll. That's what I've been sleeping on the past couple months. What I'm sitting on is one of those industrial uh, plastic Home Depot crates. I've got my two little Fruit for Thought shirts behind me. And uh, yeah, I'm... last night was my last night sleeping here my last live here and uh it's like a little storage room in my uncle's house and spending these past few months with my uncle my aunt and my dad it's been very cool um there were many times in my in my teenage years in my the first half of my 20s when I thought like staying with your family wasn't something that was like cool to do but with the whole pandemic thing happening and me planning to leave for LA earlier I decided not to renew my lease in West Philly and I was like all right the initial plan I'm just gonna go out west this pandemic can't plan for anything so screw it caution to the wind then I got linked up with this dude who wanted to manage me and he wanted me to stay in Philly and he was like yo what do I have to do to get you to stay in Philly so we can lock in this deal with this label that was interested in me at the time I said I don't know I didn't renew my lease if you want me to stay in Philly then you're like I don't know bro I gotta go I don't got a place to crash at no family to stay with yada yada he says bet I got an apartment in North Philly with my daughter and if you wanna crash there, you can. Like, no no bread, like, you good. I jumped at the opportunity. I said, all right, fuck it. I got a couple months to kill. TikTok wasn't even taken off by then. Um, my streams weren't doing anything crazy compared to, you know, whatever. Like, some people think what's going on is crazy right now. This is just the beginning, but I only had like triple digits, maybe, not even, you know, four digits in the plays, but, uh, excuse me, I can't let my coffee go cold, I, I refuse to, I do it too often, um, so I was living there for a bit, I, I went through the winter and all that, I had some fun, it was cool, but it turned out to be a bad situation, um, dude just wasn't really cut out to manage somebody like me. And even if that is a little cold, I know what I mean when I say it. Um, just didn't understand the vision as far as like the TikTok stuff goes, as far as me being a vocal person. Um, apart from me genuinely wanting to connect with and 
relate to people, not just fans or supporters or the audience, but people, like from my own fucking human cathartic requirement. Even from the per perspective of business, of marketing, like him and this guy were trying to tell me that I was like, like, nah, like, you're going in the wrong direction with the TikTok stuff. Like, you're wasting, like, that's not, you need to be doing this. And I tried telling him, I was like, look, man, I've, I've made enough songs and records where, like, I don't got to keep on doing that. I get in the studio, I'm going to come out with something dope. It don't matter where I'm at or what I got. I'm going to come out with something good, regardless of genre or whatever, right? And I got my performance game down, been doing that for 10 plus years. I'm like, look, I'm going to develop a connection with these people. They're like, you need to push your music more. I'm like, look, man. I'm like, even from a marketing perspective, you should understand if I develop enough of a connection with these people, they're going to go find it themselves. I'm not going to have to jam my music down anybody's throat. I'm not going to have to do that. That's not what I'm here to do. If anyone wants to do that, it should be you. That's your job. Your job is to go like push it and force it on people. My job is to just be me, man. And do what the hell I do. That's enough. And they kept telling me it wasn't enough. Um, so they offered me this deal, whoop de whoop, yada yada. Um, next day, two days after, I hit a million on TikTok. It blew up in two days. Um, after like months of just posting and throwing things at the wall, seeing what stuck. But people started really fucking with what I was saying. And I try to tell them, I'm like, oh, we gotta renegotiate the contract. They're like, why? I'm like, people are, I'm like, I just hit a million on social media. They're like, oh, it don't really matter. And I was like, okay. And that was kind of like the last straw. If you listen to my song, I Needed to Vent, there's this one record, there's there's a phone conversation at the end of the song on the on the, uh, on the the streaming platform version, not the music video, where it's a, it's a sound bite from a recording with them, you know, a phone call with them. Motherfuckers just didn't know what they were talking about. But, uh, so I stayed here for that. <laughs> I just sidetracked my own, side railed my own conversation. And uh, again, my bad for whatever the hell sound that is outside. This dude's running a fucking table saw or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So that whole situation went down and that kept me in Philly for a bit too. But then, fuck, actually, holy shit, that's only the beginning. After that, I was running around, I was enjoying myself, I was, you know what I mean, getting into some things and, and uh, spending some time with some lovely people. And through that, um, <laughs> kept doing my thing with the music, with the content, gaining sponsorships, shit like that. I ended up hooking up with somebody who turned out to be a really great person and we were in like a relationship for, for a little bit. And um, I stayed in, I was crashing at her crib and I was staying at her crib in Philly. And then we moved back to, we, we moved to Jersey <laughs> randomly. And uh, I stayed there for like six to eight months through the winter. And um, after that, I was like, all right, no, nah, now I gotta leave. Somehow, you know, I go crash at my boy Ruffins for a bit, working on music, content, woo, woo, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he has to go back and forth to these sessions and stuff. Like he records with the ball pink sweats and they doing all this brilliant, crazy ass music, songwriting, producing shit. He went on tour. It's my best friend, you know, so I'm proud of shit of him. Um, in the meantime, he's like, yo, bro, like, you know, his, it was, I was staying with him and his girl and like, he, he was out, he was out the crib. He's like, and I know he trusts me and his girl. Like they 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 fuck with me. Like you know what I mean, like we best friends. But um, he's like, yo, bro, like gotta find another spot. I'm like, alright, bet, of course, I know the deal. So I started crashing at my at my at my uncle's house, with my family, and um, it turned out to be one of the coolest experiences I've had in a minute. I mean, not only were they cool with like me being here and they made some little space for me in like this storage room and shit. Um, 
but it was just a good opportunity to spend some time and bond with the people who actually fucking know me and care about me. And uh, I can I can calm I can calmly and confidently say that the things that I stayed in Philly for maybe when I had initially planned to leave were for things that actually mean something in the grand scheme of things. The people that I stayed here for or stayed here with and all of those stories I mentioned, even the ones that didn't work out, how you know, to the best of their ability, they were all people that genuinely cared for me and did want the best for me. And who knows when I'll be able to spend time with my, my loved ones and my, my closest friends again, you know? It's never bye, it's always see you later, but I'm grateful that I got to spend this time with them. I'm trying not to look back on any of it with critique though. You know how it is, like, like damn, I wish I would've spent more time or did this or been more, we, we gotta, you know? It is what it is. You can't undo the past. We gotta just keep looking forward while making sure to look around at the present. I said I wasn't gonna let my coffee go cold. It's getting a little, <laughs> it's getting a little warm there. Oh shit. But yeah, I'm definitely a little nervous. I mean, I I, I definitely do have the means to put myself up in like a hotel here and there on this little trip, but I'm so used to being like cheap and not being able to do things like that, that I just, I'm just like, all right, I got a Planet Fitness black card membership. I can use one of those. I can use a Planet Fitness anywhere. I'm gonna be working out every day anyway, um, but I can use the showering facilities, brush my teeth in there. You know, I can, I can actually wash the socks or the drawers I'm wearing for the day in the shower with me. Um, but it's like, no, like I'm gonna spring for laundromat, you know, I'll, I'll go do that, edit videos while I'm at the laundromat. Uh, <laughs> but like, I'm just like immediately like, yeah, I'm gonna be sleeping in the car. I got this little, ooh, I wish I could, well, I could show the people on the video. If you're watching, if you're listening on, like, Spotify or whatever, um, Amazon, uh, Apple, I'm sorry, but on the YouTube you see it. I got this little pouch thing, right? You open it, and it has this, like, burner in it, like a fucking gas butane burner, butane stove, like camping shit, right? Look at this joint. It's all little, it's all little as minchy. But it, it folds out, the arms fold out like a tripod type thing. And you just turn it. I'm gonna, I could boil my water with that for my coffee in the morning or in the afternoon and night. You know, I like to do that. Okay, sorry for this noise. I'm gonna, I know that this camera's, well, the mic's probably picking up crazy noise right now. Even just moving it. I'm sure there's a bunch of low end, whatever. <laughs> Oh, shit. What the hell do I talk about? I don't know what I have to talk about. See, like, I'm still... I ho I don't know what some of y'all listen to me for, man. Because, like, I'm not giving... I'm not dropping no, like, crazy jewels or lessons right now. But, um... Yeah, man. <laughs> I feel like... I didn't want to plan too much with this trip. Because I really want to just take it for what it is. I have the utmost faith and confidence that I'm gonna be safe and that I'm gonna have a good time because I don't need much to have a good time. I really don't. So anything that's better than fair is great in my eyes, you know? But I'm excited, you know? I'm excited to see the South and the tail end of the summertime and I hope that I I hope that I get to have some cool experiences and memories, you know? Um, 
I'm not gonna put too much expectation out there in the uh in the, in the love department, but like you know what I mean. I hope I have you know what I mean. I hope I have some type of cool experiences in that department with some mutuals or some shit. Just being quite frank with you, I don't give a fuck. But you know me, talk about it. Um, my shoulders feeling a little better. Yeah, I've been working now, and um, I don't like feeling anything less than a hundred percent in the physicality department. You know, being sore or having DOMS from working out the day before that don't count. Like I don't even feel that crap. But um, man. Like, having to sit out of the gym for a week and a half fucked me up mentally, bro. I can't take it. I hate that shit. I gotta... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stick to your routine. St you know, progressive overload, dude. You know, go for that. But don't try to get fancy on them. If you found something that works for you and your body, you know, works with it, do it. Um, don't try to fuck with with your shit, man. Muscle memory's a motherfucker. Like, keep your shit, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The better you take care of it, the less you'll have to fix it. Hello. Mm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a paranoid dude, so I don't like talking much about, like, where I'm currently at and all that, but, um, or where I'm gonna be. Like, whenever I'm at an event, um, I don't post pictures or videos from it until I'm, I leave or I'm like on the road leaving it even though I probably don't gotta worry about it as much as I think um I know one day I will very soon so try getting that habit early coming from where I'm, I'm from you know but uh I want to try to touch the Carolinas today if I can it's like an eight hour drive I could probably do that in like five <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No, them cops don't play in the South, I heard. But uh I wanna I wanna go to Myrtle Beach. I was like, oh shit, Myrtle Beach. Okay, I'm gonna go to Myrtle Beach. Like, I'm gonna go check that out. I heard it was cool. You know. I don't know what the fuck it looks like or what's going on down there, but I'm trying to go. I would like to go to Atlanta, but um that's just cause, you know, beautiful ass women over down in Atlanta, you know. Hot Atlanta. But uh <laughs> I'm probably just gonna go from Myrtle Beach, go through. I'm gonna hug. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hug the coast. I think, and and then drive down to Florida. But uh, yeah. Hope I have a good fucking time. Um, I'll probably do another episode very soon. So I'm sorry for this one being short, but I still got some packing to do. <laughs> That's like the worst fucking part. Feeling like I like. Oh gosh, am I gonna forget anything? But. Anything that I forget probably isn't worth being remembered. Whatever, you know. All right, well, this was The Kane Show. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs>